Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Deadhead, as most of y'all know, or Mel, Melissa, whatever. Um, today, as most of y'all know, like what happened yesterday um, with uh, Trump's um, attempt to assassination. Um, and if you don't know and you're an American, then I don't know where you've been. Um, if you are not shaken up, I don't know what's wrong with you. But uh, anyways, um, as you can see, as the screen says, we're, we're going to be reacting to Tom's song. This was a shot to us. Tom came out with this song. And it's called You Missed. And we're missing Carol today. Uh, we are but, missing Carol. I wish she was here. I wish she was here too. But I think she's here with us in spirit. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway. Yes. All right, we feel more complete now. Yeah, we got Carol back. Yeah. Hey, you know, Carol. I have to be honest with everybody. I heard this song as soon as it came out. I couldn't wait. I didn't, I mean, I obviously, I normally I would know, and I would, but like, it was just such, it, like, I mean, we knew Tom was going to address it at some point, most likely, because uh, yeah, it was such a big event, but it's, I did not and it's even imagine. Because- Yesterday when it all happened, I, me and the girls were talking. Because Lacey was like, "Oh my God, Trump got uh, almost assassinated today," and we're we yeah. And Carol, like, "What the fuck are you talking about?" And Yo, I like, had oh. one of my clients. Yeah, one of my yeah. clients called me. And Carol and, and, and told me about Lacey, it. It's crazy. Lacey's like, "Yup," she was turn on the damn news. <laughs> yeah, like, it was the all news. over the place. It was crazy. News. Yeah. So then yeah, I turned it, was it on. Absolutely crazy. At the time, Trump was on the ground whenever I turned it on, and the, the podium was shaking like it just literally happened. It's crazy. Yeah, it was absolutely insane. Um, but I mean, I, like I was shook that no, he was able to create a song and a video oh, in no. less than t- like twelve hours. Less than twelve hours. Incredible. This is like and Dear Rappers two I haven't. I have not heard this yet. Carol and and Lacey both have heard it, and they're yes. like, and then whenever they found out that I haven't heard it yet, because I had just woken up, my alarm wasn't set, so you know, dude, but and it is straight. They're like, well, let's react. We're like, just let's react. It'll be a re- blind reaction for me. So this will be my first time to hear it. Yeah, and it's so it is trending. a reaction. Yeah, so it's already like trending at what you said, fifteen. Number fifteen. Yeah, number wow. fifteen. It's actually trending higher than Heroes, which was released on Friday, two days ago. So, crazy yeah. it's it got over three hundred thousand views y'all, in three hours wrote this song in less than 12 hours like mind blowing. and made the beat and recorded it and like mastered it and or like mixed it and uh and then no oh. filmed the video they filmed and, the video and edited it all in like uh sorry not sorry amazing. but if you don't think that this man is amazing well you suck Dude, I'm like, I didn't think I could be more impressed. In fact, right. you know, in, in fact, I'm a little jealous. Like, uh I it's not fair for him to be so fucking talented. Like, he should share the talent with the rest of humanity. Alas, he has it all. Uh incredible work okay. by them too. I y'all, you're gonna freaking love this. It's it's just fire. And real um, quick, I just want to put it out there. I'm in a different location today because my husband's yeah. still asleep. We wanted to record early today, and y'all might see my daughter or hear my daughter in the background. It's just me and her here right now. Yeah. Um, it's cool. And I apologize We're here for about it. that. What, yeah. baby? Uh, yes. Yes. She's yeah. asking if she's got school tomorrow. She does. <laughs> Uh, you know, but I am, I'm so grateful that Tom put this out because I think it's the morale boost that America needed after what happened yesterday. And I, I think you're, you're going to see that, you the, know, once we, the once you video hear it, but it's on oh. the screen and I still have not read the lyrics yet. Cause I'm waiting to listen. Dude. It's so, Oh, it's so good. Uh, so I, I think what we should do is just listen to it all the way through. It's only, it's just over two minutes long. And I think it's important for you to hear it. Like all together and then we'll go back and we can talk about some of the lyrics because okay. this is straight i mean it like this is a, a this is a big one this is a big one i'm ready all right. are, you, are you ready i'm ready let's go oh. 
They burning the country down with their progressiveness. It started with changing what gender is. Then graduated to your racist. If you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election. They got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I used to think that the woke were misguided, but now I can see that they're evil. Twitter is angry that Trump isn't dead. You know who got shot? Innocent people. Thought y'all were tolerant, thought we were equals. I thought you valued how everyone feels. Then why are y'all celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa? Thank God the left can't aim. Thank God the right don't riot. Welcome to the home of the brave. Freedom ain't afraid of violence. You wish you was dying? Bitch, you missed! Thank God the left can't aim. Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane. Bitch, you missed! There's no one else you can blame. Try to lock him up in a cage. Now you try to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed! Told us trust the science, but it never made sense to me. Why would we put all our trust in the enemy? Millions of people are hooked on amphetamines. They're making billions on untested remedies. Borders are open to people with felonies. Fighting can't stop them. We don't have the energy. Y'all want to kill the man trying to fight for a better tomorrow by making them Kennedy? I tried to give y'all a chance. Like, maybe the left isn't nuts. I was wrong. Because y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person I know said you were all along. Want to protest? Go hard. Wanna burn flags go off But y'all are so triggered that you're pulling triggers at presidents Y'all the terrorists when you're armed Thank God the left can't aim Thank God the right don't riot Welcome to the home of the brave Freedom ain't afraid of violence You wish you was dying? Bitch you missed Thank God the left can't aim <laughs> Why can't we just shoot straight? Y'all are going insane Bitch you missed There's no one else you can blame Try to lock him I up in a cage Now you try to kill what you hate Bitch you missed Damn right, they missed. Ooh. They fucking missed, man. Um, but Tom didn't know. Bullseye. <laughs> like what? My mind's blown. Like, what yeah. The... Oh my lord. Okay, I'm sorry. I I love heroes. Don't get me wrong, but that's very... that is dope, right? <laughs> that is straight well, fi like flames. No, it's like his feelings were on a fucking plate. About the whole situation, dude. I mean, he told us well, exactly yeah, how I mean, he it was felt. just, dude. Like seriously, though, uh, Tom went off. I mean, and it was it was short and sweet and exactly what it should have been. Um, there was, but he says they, that to be honest, yeah. there's it, it was it was shorter than the shot. <laughs> just saying, holy moly! I'm uh, sorry, guys. Whenever I get like really like. When something really pisses me off or something, I make jokes. When I feel nervous, when I uh, when I'm angry, like I make jokes. I'm angry. <laughs> I'm I'm fucking pissed. It's a, yeah, it's easier to laugh than I mean, it's better to laugh than cry, right? Yeah. Well, I've already done enough. What they that. say. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, and and I'm not gonna but, lie. This this to me to me this isn't about who is the next president. This isn't about politics. This is about a human's life and not just Trump's life. This is about the freaking person, the, the civilian that died. This is about, because yeah. I'm an empath, I'm an empath, uh, empath person. Like I, I feel, I feel everything. And then the guy, the shooter, he, he was my son's age. Okay. And so my thoughts went straight to his family. Like, you know, that's the last memory of their son. And to me, that breaks my fucking heart. Like, yeah. I can't imagine being that parent going, where the fuck did I screw up at? That's how I feel. Yeah. You know, and it's, um, it's I crazy. Like the whole, the whole situation actually like, because I, I, it's just so fresh. Cause I just put out that video about American dreams, which is like, has to do with like, you know, um, the fact that like they kind of glorify some of these killers and they talk about the killers and never the victims. Mm -hmm. Uh, and there was, there was a victim, uh, at least one victim I know of, um, a man. And he was like a, like a retired or former, uh, like fire chief or something like, you know, just a good human there to show support. And he ended up losing his life all because of uh, somebody is mad and they don't agree with this other person. And because the media, and these uh, and the left wing politicians have painted him out to be this monster, and people believe it. And it's fine if people don't like him. He can be he, he like, or he can at least be portrayed as an asshole. So I get it. But that's but like demonizing him to the point that somebody literally tried to kill him because of the stuff that has been pushed and said about him. And that's crazy to me. And see, and that's the problem that I have. Like, 
okay, you're offended by what somebody says it does not give you the freaking right to kill somebody. Absolutely. You don't like his politics. I mean, it does not give you the rights to kill somebody. Literally. I mean, uh, but the, they miss. you know, and I, yeah, well, and it's, it like, I can hear, I can feel the anger that Tom feels like over this situation as well. Yeah. Like the frustration, and I think that's especially what like in the verse. Yeah. And it's kind of like, cause when he's saying like, bitch, bitch, you missed, it's like, it's and not then, just like a, a, a funny thing. Like he's no. saying it like with anger, like, no, I know, like, but I think you. that's, and I think that's what hyped me up because that's how I feel. Yeah. We connect with emotions and he portrays emotions better than a lot of people do in, in music. Like well, he, I, he just has a way of delivering can, it to deliver well, that emotion to you. And I know that you and, and Carol feel the same way. Hi, Carol. <laughs> But, and I know y'all feel the same way when it comes to Tom, like, because Tom, I don't know, has a way, I know it's not for everybody, and that's fine, you don't have, you don't have to agree with Tom all the time, that's fine, because not Mm -hmm. every, I don't agree with everything Tom says, but, like, for the most part, I do, Um, but the thing is, is, like, he, he has a way of making you believe what he says. Yeah. And, no, and uh, it was. It's not even really believe, yeah. but it's more like it makes you feel the way he feels. Like I, I don't know. It, yeah, it's the way he he portrays himself in music. Like I don't know. It's just, I think because he's so he's so transparent in his so, lyrics and he's that so passionate. He's passionate. he just. Well, he's, yeah, he's passionate. It, like his lyrics are like tra- his. He's so transparent in his lyrics that you're able to like. I don't know. Like you just. You can interpret his emotions like that went into the song, like by the way he inflects certain words or the the way he delivers his raps. Like, you know, um, there's a way, a softer way he does it in something like Heroes, where he's like speaking to you in a, a very gentle way. And this is more, this is aggressive. This is punchy. Um, this is, this has got to, like fire behind it. Right. And I want to address something real quick because, and I didn't think I was going to do this. I really did it. But I don't know. It's really heavy on my heart right now. Somebody yesterday said that they didn't think we should be turning into politics. They're not from America. That's fine. You're not. You don't understand. But as soon as you said that, that's when all this happened. And this is the reason why we kind of turned into politics because, like, people are, are are starting to wake up, and we feel like we we have a place where we can voice our our, our stuff, and maybe somebody. Mm-hmm. Somebody here in America that's watching our videos, maybe they they're not awoke yet, awake, awake yet, and yeah, or they're they're on the verge of being awake, and maybe there's something we can share that might help them, or they can share an opinion with us and maybe help us see something different. I mean, and that's right. what, that's you know that's something that we've wanted for our channel is to be able to express ourselves and have other people. But look, if you're going to come with us to hate, though, we're not going to pay attention to it. But like, if you're coming to us right. with an opinion and we can talk as as as, as freaking adults, then let's go. We'll, we'll yeah. talk. But like, uh, we have many a videos that we've posted recently about politics, and there's some things that I never knew that I've learned, and I appreciate that that we've done that. Yeah. I mean, from yeah. both sides, you know. Right. No, it's, uh, you know, but it's, it is like, I mean, it, it's been primary, the, primary the, the left is like where the problems are coming from, like across the board. And like, you know, it's like, I, I love this part of the song uh, in verse two, where uh, it's the, uh, where, or what Tom says, I tried to give y'all a chance. Like maybe the left isn't nuts. I was wrong. Y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person I know says, uh, said you were all along. Want to protest? Go hard. Want to burn flags? Go off. But y'all are so triggered that you pulling, you're pulling triggers at presidents. Y'all are terrorists when y'all are armed. Like, mm-hmm. when you're armed. Uh, you know, and it's, it, they're the ones who are pushing for 2A, like, uh, you know, like, taking guns away and shit like that or whatever. And, like, yeah. it, like, it, it, it's but, the, you know, Democrats are the ones who assassinate everybody, right? Like, it was a Democrat that assassinated Lincoln. It was a Democrat that assassinated... Uh, I'm pretty sure that assassinated Jeff K. I'm pretty sure it was the government, but I'm just uh, saying that. that was but it was a, I'm pretty sure it was a Democrat probably that was uh that probably killed MLK too, I bet. Yeah, I no, I'm pretty sure. Um 
maybe that's something we need to react to. If the, all the, the I'm just saying of all of that. I mean, I'm down for it. Uh, but look, if if Tom, if you end up do watching this, I don't know if you will. You're a busy man, but if you do watch this, please put that song on an album because I want I want the whole album. Yeah, I, I think he said album. in Discord. He said in Discord he was definitely going to put it on an album. <laughs> I guess is what he said. Uh, and he said he's trying to put it on Spotify too, or getting, he's working on getting it on Spotify, which I'm excited okay. because this song is, is a banger. On, like, I hate the reason it, I hate it the reason Amazon? it was made. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure it is. I'm sure the it's on iTunes and Amazon. <laughs> Dude, I, it's probably just a matter of time, honestly, because I, it's already spreading like wildfire, which it should. It's in, uh, it's incredible. And it's exactly like, I'm so glad he chose to put it out and and put that work in there I've, even after just doing a new song because um I think America needed it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big By time. the way, I'm sitting here staring at it and y'all it's up on yeah. the screen so you're probably seeing it too. Um to- Nova and I'm going to say oh, yeah. Nova and, and yeah. Tom they watched you miss together and they reacted. So are you do you want to watch yeah. that? Yes, I do. Absolutely. So this is a two-parter, but it's still about the same song. Yes. Might as well, shoot. Okay, good morning. We're tired. So tired. Tom had us up till like 3 o'clock in the morning last night. Had to do it, man. Yesterday was a super important day in the history of the world. Yeah. I'm trying not to cry. You oh, cried no, your but... eyes out yesterday. I was really shaken. I'll never forget that. What? When that phone call came in. Yeah, Tom's sister called us and told us that... What did she say? I don't even remember. She said they just killed... They just tried to kill Donald Trump. Yeah. That's and I said, what? Us, and she said, yeah, he got shot. I think he got shot in the ear. I sat up out of my chair, and you were already, like, had tears swelling up in your eyes. I remember you looked right at me and said, how could somebody do this? No, I didn't say that. Yeah. Oh, I did. <laughs> so sad and adorable. She said, I didn't yeah. say and, that. Uh, I'm not like a big like I make my so my political songs and stuff, but I'm not like a big like oh, jump on current lover. events immediately guy. Oh, Nova. Um But I started asking, I was like, what, you are you gonna do a video about this like right now? Yeah, and this shit just like hit me in my <laughs> fucking like, soul. I just yeah. felt like I had to do it. Oh, so we Tom. did it. I sat down, made the beat, wrote the song, <laughs> recorded it all in like two hours. And then you were streaming. That's crazy. Like, I had to stream. I had to just do something fair. else because it's I just. It's not fair. You're crying again. I know. Okay. It's He's just, okay. It's not about Trump. It's about like the state of things where people are so. Exactly. I feel you. Like, I yeah. feel you. Fucked up and divided that like they hate the other side so much that they're willing to like kill the person that it's just like the state of that's things that's like really sad. Yeah. Yeah, so. I 100% agree with her. Oh. What a sick reaction. I'm trying. I actually need a Kleenex. Hold on. Oh, I meant to say, if you don't know that this is my boyfriend, Tom, that's Tom. (laughs) Right? I made the video at midnight last night and then stayed up till like 2.30 editing it. Yep. (laughs) 8 a.m. to drop it. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I said. Fuck yeah. Bitch, you missed. They burn in the country down with their progressiveness. It started with changing what gender is. Then graduated to your racist. If you think that your life matters and your skin don't have melanin. They don't want peace, they want skeletons. They want men to pretend that they're feminine. They don't want an election. They got so offended by freedom that they just try killing the president. I- I got to hear that bar in my kitchen yesterday. <laughs> and when you said it to me, like, that they just tried killing the president. You went like this, and you said, goosebumps. That is an indicator in our relationship. Oh, perfect. <laughs> yeah, perfect. If, if I cry when listening to a song, or I get goosebumps or something, that's, like, the ultimate yeah. co-sign. Because I, do, I don't, like, I'm quite straight-faced, it you know? Really is. When you're showing me yeah. stuff, I'm like, that's good. That's what are you great. working on your look right now? Yeah, I can't believe people are seeing this. I thought this was going to be a secret of mine forever. No, I want one as well. This is my house clothes. This is my house. Like a nineteen seventies drug rug. And you always make fun of my room, but you look like you belong in it right now. Oh no, 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 no. Facts. No, he, he, sorry, Tom. She's right. Like facts. Sorry. Facts. Uh, facts on facts. Says my Daisy rugs and 
and grass. Now, this room looks like a, a, a Gen Xer threw up. <laughs> What's a Gen X? <laughs> oh no, not Gen X. What's the what came no, after? No, millennial. No, after that, Gen Z. Gen Z. No, Gen it does Z. not. This room screams millennial. Oh, it feels yeah, so good making right. jokes right now because it's been such a happy so fucking. Yeah. Okay, back back to reality. <laughs> yeah. Celebrating an attempted assassination like you're part of Antifa. Bitch. Thank God the left. I like the live ad libs that we're getting. Yeah. That was like <laughs> one of the things that like hit me so Don't hard. Really like what she when it be. first happened, Yo, we first got the even news, American. and then we went to Twitter, I mean, no. and well, he's there was all these hashtags all trending from. American to me. Not American. everybody on the left. At Staged. All. Don't want to like BB gun. Yeah, I don't want to paint them all with the same brush. There's a Can lot we rewind of people it? I hear what that were like said. celebrating that this happened and saying like, "You had one job. How could you miss that fucking?" Staged. Like, yeah. First got the news, and then we went to Twitter, and there was all these hashtags trending from. Not everybody on the left. At Staged. All. I don't want to like BB gun. Yeah, I don't want to paint them all with yeah. the same brush. But there's a lot of fucking people that were like celebrating that this happened and saying like, "You had one job. How could you miss that fucking face?" Blah blah blah. And I was just like, "Yo." Hang on. Before he goes there, I just mm -hmm. want to point out something. When he when I seen all those comments, I was like, "Whenever like okay, they uh, it was staged. It was um." It was a BB gun. That was the one when they said it was a BB gun, and then I'm sitting there, and then all of a sudden it comes in how uh, there was one person in the audience dead, and the, the person mm -hmm. in the audience that died was actually behind Trump. Yeah. So like, yeah, BB gun ain't gonna shoot from two hundred two hundred my uh four four hundred feet. Yeah, four hundred feet. I thought it was, yeah. was one hundred fifty two, but okay. That's even yeah no it's, even I, I saw uh, there's yeah. 400 or four no not even 400 feet 400 yards it was yeah. 400 yards that's even further might have been 400 away. feet that's even further away there's a picture I, of it okay yeah well I know I've there's seen a picture of it pictures of the killer I've seen pictures of everything yeah, yeah. yeah like there's killer, a, a where Trump stage was somebody. and where the where he was on the roof and then there's like a a line in it it shows how many feet it was I think it was like 400 feet or maybe 400 yards but I think it was 400 feet and there's also a picture of you can see the bullet flying and you know Trump turned his head just in the nick of time because if he wouldn't it would have hit him in the head it's freaking crazy like he was so close to yeah talk about Ooh. angels on his side I'm just saying just saying but anyways, yeah, like if it, yeah. if I wonder what those people that made all those comments before they had, had all the knowledge of what's going on, uh, I wonder what they, they don't regret it. They don't care. Oh, wait. Yeah, they, they don't care yeah, because they don't care. They don't care because they only hear, oh, Trump almost got assassinated. Yay. You are a fuck. Sick, yeah. sick fuck. Sick fuck. Like, why do you? Oh, yeah. I could go on and on. Fuck you. Like. That's a human that's a human being like i don't know i guess like because exactly. you're really fucking famous and i think people don't understand that you're like a person who like eats breakfast and like calls their parents <laughs> and like breakfast. does all do it's you know what i mean you're like a part you're like a human being years. You're thomas like a human please being. No, Sorry, you're, just, the mood. you're just like a Aww. person and like there were people there who went yesterday to go like support their guy who they thought was gonna like make their their life better and like that's the saddest part <laughs> And you're gonna sit there and you're gonna say he was there with his family yeah yeah the, the holy oh fuck. god and you're gonna sit there and you're gonna say that fucking you're gonna celebrate that a shooting happened you're fucking disgusting yeah. anybody in their right mind regardless of where they are on the political spectrum all the way left or all the way right anybody doesn't matter anybody that saw what happened yesterday um and that doesn't just vehemently denounce that and condemn it and feel horrible that things have gotten to this place is a fucking asshole. They're a piece of shit. And I don't agreed. I never say anything like this on the internet. But even if you're somebody that just, well, because that nothing just like this has never viscerally hates Donald like Trump, that was fucking yeah. wrong. Because people should be allowed to vote for whoever the fuck they want. Right? And like now people are so brainwashed that if if you vote for Donald Trump, somehow you're a fucking racist. 
Like not, it's like so matter. fucking just, brainwashed. If, if you if you that, don't just, wear a mask, if, you're if, fucking if you, racist. If you, if you, if you don't for, like everything. If you if you like Donald Trump, you're just immediately you're bad. If you have an American flag in your profile, you're a fucking racist. Like all of these things are and like ugh, I'm it's crazy how everyone draws these Trump's lines to shit. And I don't I don't know. I don't I I like do want to like remember that this is one person who made a decision. It's not like a they. This wasn't like an organized event. It wasn't a they them. <laughs> no, it's not like a group. Like it's not like the left. Like fucking grab this himself. guy and put him forward and uh, like. But no, it is the course, ideologies and the fucking but, and how society is that fueled into it. Of course, it's not everybody, but it's a it is a shared mindset, and that was on full display on Twitter, um, because not, not all of those people went to that rally and committed that act. One person did, and then hundreds of thousands of people championed it on the internet. Yep. So. It's not everybody, but there's a lot more than that one guy that was at that fucking rally. It was also the first time I saw Twitter pull down pull down hashtags. I'd never seen them do that before. I didn't see it happen. Well, they it was trending BB gun. They missed all the shit, and then it disappeared, and I've never seen Twitter do that, and I kind of don't like that they did that because wow. we should have just left it on display. Yeah. People are going to be fucking disgusting. Let's all, let's all look at that. So lock them up in a cage. Yeah, trying to kill what you hate. Bitch, you missed. Want your time to fame? Let's go. That's the craziest thing, man. It's like, yo, like. Hey, Tom just posted in uh, Discord smear that campaigns, uh, I, it's finally on iTunes. Download it. Let's make it propaganda. Sex this scandals. Time. Charges. Yep. Tried to lock this guy up and put him in prison. I but know. That didn't work. And then everybody was kind of like, okay, well, if that didn't work, what's next? They're going to try and kill him. Yeah. And then, not they though. No, but yeah. that's what people were th saying. They're going yeah. to try to kill him. That's so what we were thinking. We've all been thinking that. Has happened. I've been thinking that for a while. I mean, it's, 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 it's very coincidental for that narrative. Yeah, the guy who did is such a fucking idiot. Like you literally just like you made people who like Trump love Trump. <laughs> you made people who are like on the fence. Be like, whatever's going on on that side isn't right. So you, I'm on you, this side now. Like, you literally fucking you, 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 cemented you, this man as president. You got Joe Biden yeah. to call him on the phone. His worst <laughs> enemy called him. Because y'all are exactly as crazy as every conservative person I know said you were all along. Are you talking specifically about the people going off on Twitter right there? For a long time, I just felt like... I don't think that the left is as crazy as everybody makes them out to be, but I mm -hmm. still think they're wrong. Um... But the events of yesterday and the reaction from that side of the spectrum just, like, cemented it for me. It was like, oh, you guys are fucking nuts. Yeah. You're fucking nuts. Yeah. But we have to remember that's just, like, the loudest stuff on Twitter. Well, like, most I'm, people don't what, feel that, that that's way. That's what I'm addressing. Well, that's what's loud. Yeah. I just don't want to get swept up in the, ex in the extremism of it because that's, like, the same shit. Like. But lock them up in a cage. Are you trying to kill what you hate? Bitch, you missed. Boom, in and out, short and so sweet. Fire. Can you just imagine what the country would look like right now if it was the other presidential candidate? I was thinking that. Oh, oh my, my God. God. It would Shit be would riots. be on fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We... It, it 100% and would be. It's horrifying because we lived on yeah. Melrose when there was the George Floyd riots. There was a cop car on fire on our street. There was people hiding in our yards with boxes of Nikes. The entire neighborhood smelled like sulfur. There was fucking concussion. We were great watching on the news. Off. What? Boom, 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 boom. We were watching on national news shit that was happening two blocks from our house. Um, That's crazy. So scary. Yeah, that was a that was a long night. I mean, it went on for a couple nights, and there was this like the first night especially. I remember just standing in the living room with a baseball bat. Dressed in all black denim. Oh yeah, we were ready like because duffel bag with survival. You're supplies. like an enemy. Like, yeah, I was like, if one of these motherfuckers comes through this door, it's gone. right. And you just you didn't know. And when you see chaos erupting all around you, it's like you're you just have to be ready for more chaos. And I'm so glad that I haven't heard. Uh, have you heard of any riots or anything? No. From this, because mm -hmm. like, what are you gonna riot against one guy? Yesterday was a. Uh huge turning point in um, what's going on with the presidential race right now. And it's a super dark day that's going to go down in American history.
and usually I don't, you know, I make my songs and it's about shit that happened a month ago or whatever, but this one was just so intense and I, it just, I had a fire inside me. I was just like, man, fuck this. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm doing I it. I don't give a shit. I'm doing it. I literally it. said that. Uh, the song had to be made. Yesterday is a super dark day in American history. It's a damn shame that that happened. Um, and uh, we got four more months uh, till November. So I'm sure a lot of people are expecting things to just get worse. But I yeah. really hope that um, America can come together. And yeah, my hope for this there's country just, uh, is not very high right now. There's just no no reason and no need for this type of violence. There's, there's just not. So I hope everything goes smoothly for the next four months. November's coming up. I'm kind of nervous and I hope things don't get worse because like I feel like if you're in an argument with someone and you're yelling and someone throws a punch, then what happens? Then you're fist fighting. And I feel like... No, grown people will walk away. Yeah, so but I hope people, not everyone on both sides is fucking grown, and well, I just I, hope I, it doesn't I, spiral. I hope people decide to exercise their maturity in this situation. Do something fucking smart, y'all. Just go vote yeah. and like make a song about it. <laughs> yeah. Tell the world how you feel with your words. For the yeah, record, I'm work. Canadian and can't vote. Work. It doesn't always work. <laughs> yeah, I love y'all, but that doesn't always. Work. Make a joke. Make me smile for the end of it. I don't. Condone I can't that. leave the day on Violence? a heavy note. Tell me a funny. Don't call me ugly. Punch the damn face. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> picking apart my ugly. face right now. No, I'm what? Make it funny. Uh, no, please. I don't have any jokes, Aww. baby. I just talked like I don't know. Okay, well. Aww. There you have it. Enjoy it. Spread the word. Share it everywhere you can. It'll be on iTunes and Spotify and everywhere else this evening. So we just submitted it like at seven o'clock this morning or something, so. And it's slept? Sunday, so it might even, <laughs> is it going today? I don't know that they did, honestly. Is it I have Sunday? No idea. What the fuck is going yeah, on? Yeah, it's Sunday. Okay, two, I love you. Two videos good job. in one weekend. You're very cool. Are we shaking? Pleasure You're doing cool. business. <laughs> That worked. That made me laugh. Thanks for shooting the video, baby. You're welcome. Can you make me my fourth coffee of the day? Now? Okay, I love you guys. I love you. I'm gonna go put on some oh, real clothes. Editing, Adios. You make me a coffee too. <laughs> Tom, I want to know where I can get a, a house uh, coat like that for my elder years. Okay. Good morning. That are Sorry. we're tired. Approaching. Uh, I, think, I think Nova made it for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah. Man, you know, it's, <sighs> that's tough. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, my brain's still fried from yesterday. Like, I, I can't, look, I don't watch the news and I watched the news until I went to bed last night. Yeah. I, uh. I mean, I tried not to watch the news. That's but it sure. wasn't just watching but, the news. I was also, like, researching, trying to find some things for today. And, look, I didn't write nothing down. So I thought, oh, well, I'll remember. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember shit. Man. I don't remember what happened yesterday. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> this shit is, it's, like, heavy, right? Like, and it's, I don't know. It's. No, I, I like I'm I'm glad that Tom and Nova like I'm glad we're all on the same like right. team. like well, on like, the same side or whatever like fighting for the same shit was like I told you and Carol yesterday like I I don't know did I tell y'all maybe I thought I told you I don't anyways I felt like okay no I told my husband this I felt like okay during nine eleven when the, when all that happened I feel that same mm -hmm. feeling of dread like that something's not right like it. Oh, yeah. Well, like, something seriously was... Like, I mean, that's... I'm tired of living through historical events. Like, well, I've done enough like, of it. See, and the, the, the... No, I think I said this in the roundtable Discord. Um, but I, I said that I feel like we've been... We, we were attacked. America was attacked, you know, even though only one person died in the shooter. I still yeah. feel like we were under attack yesterday. The thing is, is we were under attack with our own people. 
But then after doing research on 9-11, I feel like 9-11 was an inside mm-hmm. job too. So, like, uh, we've been attacked twice by our own. Well, people. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of speculation about, like, I mean, it, like, where the shooter was, it, it should have been impossible for him to have a gun there, for him to get that close with it, to be up on the roof with nobody stopping him. Apparently someone, like, said that they had notified the Secret Service or whatever, there's somebody on the roof and they didn't so, do anything about it. And then it was just minutes later thing? that the shots rang out. So, I mean, mm-hmm. there definitely is suspicion around it already. Right. Do you want to have this conversation? Because I got some conspiracy theories myself. <laughs> well, it's, I'm, I'm just saying, like, I, I don't, I mean, well, I, I don't mean, have any facts or I'm, evidence, I'm, but. I'm not saying that it's a conspiracy theory. I'm just saying, like, because me and my husband were talking, we stayed up late last night talking and about the whole situation and, he says that he believes that the guy was a mole. Okay. Could be. Uh, he also said that, or it could be, okay, there's a thing. I don't know much about it. I haven't done a whole lot of research on it or any research on it, actually. Um, but he was telling me, he goes, there's this thing where they'll, they'll kidnap kids and they'll brainwash them for 10 years and then set them off into the world. And then when a, one word is said to them, It'll trigger something in their brain and make them go do something. And he goes, what if this kid was one of those people? I can't remember what he called them, though. Oh, um, kind of like a sleeper agent So I get I don't know. Situation. Maybe there was another uh, word he used, but like, and I'm like, I feel like possible. I've seen that movie. Um, <laughs> I was like, it's possible. Yeah, I feel, I feel, Nothing blows my mind anymore. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that he was fed a lot of misinformation and thought he was doing his country a service. I think he was yeah, misled. And, and I think the media and the left is responsible for it. And, and that's where um, I fall. you know, because after watching all the freaking comments from yesterday, uh, yeah, I- I'm sitting there going, "There's a lot of people that feel this way." So you know, and, and like I, I have literally, way. I've. I've heard, I've seen so many leftists or people on the left, progressives, progressive liberals, whatever you want to call them. I've seen the videos of them just wishing death on him. Sad that they, they missed. Right. And And all of that. But like, I've never heard, I've never seen a Republican, I've never heard a Republican or uh, anybody else or a conservative, like wish that upon Biden. They've like, we've said, said like, dude, he's so old. I don't know if he's going to make it to the next election. Like, but I've never heard anybody wish wish he would die. Yeah. Okay. And even though I, I think he's a a horrible person and a criminal. I still wouldn't wish anybody like, Back in 2017, 18, I don't know, when Kathy, Kathy Griffith did that thing where she had t- Trump's head on a stick. That was fucked up. Yeah, I mean, but it, yeah, it just there was a time, there was a time when somebody decided to, they uh, hung, oh, they did an Obama doll and hung him in their backyard. That was fucked up. I do not condone that. I think it's fucked no, up. No, yeah, I wouldn't condone it on any, on any level. I mean, or for I any side or then. anything. I still but think it's, it's wrong now. But they got yep. in a lot more trouble than the, than Kathy Gif- Griffith did, and I don't think two wrongs make a right. No, definitely not. Uh, <clears throat> and if y'all want, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna add all of that in here so y'all can see it, and I'm not just making shit about it on my ass. But uh, yeah. no, yeah. I'm like really, no, yeah, I, I'm I really, all that shit. I'm literally really still fucking mad about all this. Um. Uh, Yeah, I just, like, I I don't know. I guess I feel um, just disheartened. Um, like, I feel like a part of my, like, my spirit got broke a little bit. You know what yeah, I mean? I feel like exactly. that's why I feel like this song was so important was because it really kind of boosted the morale and thought, you know, like, yeah, fuck these people. Like, we're going to keep fighting and keep pushing forward. And I think we needed that because it just, I hate, like, like Nova said, like, I hate that it's gotten to this point. I hate that this is where we're at. I hate that that there are people like responsible for this that are not going to pay the, like the price, the people, we, the people are paying the price for the actions of the ones that are supposed to be protecting us and, and doing their best to look out for us and doing the best for America. And they're doing the best for themselves and not America. And now, now we're here. And and, yesterday when Trump stood up and he put his fist in the air, I had goosebumps all Dude. over my body. 
it honestly, it just made me want to vote for him all that much more no, because it, that's the type that's the type of president I need that's gonna stand up and say fuck you. I mean, he he said fight. He didn't say fuck you, but like in, in case in case you're still having a problem here, let me explain something. Okay, I'm talking to the audience, not Lacey. She already knows this, but okay. So Trump standing up. Most people, when they get shot up, they're ready to run, right? This man stood up. They had to pull his ass off the stage. He's telling everybody mm-hmm. to fight. Hang on. Hang on. And he puts his fist in the air. Hang on. Fight. 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 I'm sorry. I want a man who wants to fight for my freedom. I want a man who's ready yep. to fight for me. Sold my vote. I mean, I, I, I was already voting for Trump. But look, I, I, yeah. I was voting for him because he was a less of two evils, in my opinion. Okay. Mm-hmm. But he solidified yeah. my vote. He solidified my vote. Like, there, yeah, there, I don't want nobody else but Trump right now. Yeah, no, I don't either. Uh, it's look, yeah, I, I, look, I, Carol, Carol, y'all know Carol. She has, she's been having a problem with this election. But I think that solidified her vote yesterday. I'm, I can't. Yeah, I mean, it, Carol. It, yeah, she's not here. I'm sorry, yes, she is. Hi, Carol. <laughs> Hi, <Excuse> Carol. <laughs> um. Yeah, no, I, uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how it, it, like, it definitely shifts a lot. I think it might shift a lot of people's, like, opinion on things. They might open their eyes to different things. Like, um, yeah, maybe watching, it will, maybe it won't. I, I don't know. I watched an LFR's, uh, he did a live reaction, like, during all of the chaos. Yeah. And he had his son on with him. I'm going to link him because, like, the dude's awesome. But uh, he had a son on with him. His son is a very smart young man. He is Gen Z, but he is a very smart young man. But it, it goes to show the kind of father that, that LFR is. Like, his, yeah. he, 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 he gives his kids knowledge and allows his kids to believe the way they want to believe. But yet his son has ran off with a lot of his dad's knowledge, and it shows and um, big shout out to you because I love seeing that. Yeah. And, and, and dads, you know. So, yeah, big shout out to you. I was in your live yesterday, by the way. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Anyways. So, oh, that's yeah. that's our little ranty rant about, about yesterday's event. And Tom said mm-hmm. most of it. So, that's cool. <laughs> Yeah, he laid it out there, and he, yeah, he nailed it. He nailed it, and I think he nailed everyone's, like, I think he really understands what America is feeling, like, or, like, what a lot of people in our position who feel the same way, like, he, that it definitely represents how we're feeling right now, and, I think, I, I, and I, I think it's definitely the morale booster we needed. I won't lie, seeing Nova cry, it made me cry, it made me tear up, like, oh. Love her. A, like I said, I'm an empath. I feel when other mm-hmm. people hurt or when other people feel things. But look, I feel like we were feeling the same thing, you know? Right. Like, I just wanted to give her a big hug. I love you, Nova. Uh, anyways, so we're going to... Yes. Oh, yes. And also, uh, if if uh, Tom and Nova happened to see this, Carol wanted to say that she absolutely loved this video. She was sorry she couldn't be here to tell you herself, but that she thought the beat was fire and the video is dope and she loved y'all. Yes, absolutely. Thank you for saying that because I almost forgot, but I love you, Carol. <laughs> and I miss you so much. But anyway, so we're going to get out of here today. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.